Hi guys, it's Melissa Forche here with another video. Um, first of all, I want to start by saying thank you to everybody that came by. I really appreciate all the visits I had and um, all the comments and input and likes and I was quite flattered by just the sheer number of people that came to see my video. Um, for a first video, I was sort of expecting, you know, three people to come by and sort of teenage boys with smarmy comments. So I was quite tickled this week to see that people that actually sort of appreciated what I was doing was coming by and giving me input and comments and helping me along, praise, telling me that the first one didn't sound as bad as I actually thought it did. So I appreciate you and thank you and I hope you enjoy the second one as much. This one's going to be a second haul vid uh, my second video is going to be a haul video. Um, last week, early in the week, I went over to Winners to sort of shop around and see what kind of things they had. Um, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that they had some Sizzix dies there. Now, if you know me for any length of time, um, <laughs> you know that I've sort of been on and off on getting myself a die cutter for years. Um, never came around, never came to fruition. I sort of go on and off it depending what craft I happen to be doing this week. And this is sort of another one of my phases where I've decided I really, really want one, need one, can't live without one. So I've sort of been looking but haven't made a serious commitment to it in any way yet. And then actually my husband found these while we were walking around the winners. So I was pleasantly surprised to find out they had named brands there. I found a couple different Sizzix ones. I also found some Tim Holtz, but I wasn't sort of as excited about the ones they had there. So I sort of left those for the next guys. But I like these. These were ones I was planning on buying anyway. I think if I were to get the tag one, um, maybe not the pointy top. I sort of would have got more of a tag shape. But I mean, for what, $8, I'm not really going to complain. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this one. And this one I'm looking really forward to um, sort of adding to art journal pages or mixed media pages and playing with it a bunch. Of course now I have more incentive to go out and buy the machine now that I actually have some stuff to play with with it. So maybe that'll be one of my next videos. And then this one is just some neat sentiments I thought I could, maybe cards or, well we'll see what happens with that one. I don't know if I'll use it enough. It's cute, but I don't see it being an everyday one. But I was pleased that I found another place that had sort of reasonably nicely priced art supplies for me. And I don't always have to be going to the scrapbooking store, what have you. I kind of, I'm a girl who, um, I like to sort of, I'm just as happy going to the loony store and buying like a coloring book and a box of crayons and playing with that for a while. But sometimes I do like to sort of go to the scrapbooking store and see the newest and the latest and play with stuff they've got there and put together my project. So I sort of flip back and forth. So, I mean, cheap is good, but also, you know, the name brand is good. So it fills the best of both worlds for me, I guess. Went to Liquidation World yesterday. Um, found this little pack of can company stuff. Now I was a little disappointed. I guess I didn't look at it closely enough to find out that when I got home that it's actually pre-assembled for me which it's still really cute. I like all the little pieces, which is why I bought in. We have a camera and we have a butterfly and a little envelope. And I mean, the papers are good colors. I think I'm enough of a crafter that I'm gonna be able to sort of pull it apart. There's the other one, it's a two page set. Um, I can pull it apart and take the elements I like and use them either in art journal pages or mixed media or what have you. Um, I don't have to use it all and that won't bug me at all for three bucks. And then I just sort of don't have to use their thing. It's not quite what I wanted but I think it'll sort of do what I want in the end, so it's all good. Also, they had some stamps on sale, sort of the inchy style with their little ones. I really like to use stamps sort of not so much on their own, but I like to use them sort of um, just as backgrounds, as another element, as part of something else. Um, maybe I'll use these on inchies. It's sort of a possibility. I had not really given it too much thought. But I sort of like the thought that I have just one more pattern and one more element that I can use in cards or pages again or whatever I'm working on. I hope that's focusing. It's got sort of a weird glare on it. I hope you guys can see that okay. But I sort of like the detail on them. Um, they sort of grab my interest, so hopefully... I mean, I don't see using the wedding cake or the just married quite a bit, but the heart and stuff are fun, and I'm sure I'll find uses for them. Pet Corners. 
Um, lately, I've been working on those, I don't know how to say it, I think it's Kaneshi flowers. Barbara Owen did a thing on them one week. And they're made out of fabric and you use a little stencil and sew the leaves and sew it together and it makes a flower. So I was quite pleased when I went to Liquidation World and they had their fat quarters on for a dollar. So I managed to pick up, I have a whole bunch of blue at home, so I left some behind. But I got a black and white one that I think, sort of a zebra pattern. I think it'll look really neat by the time it's all folded up and bent into a flower. I love pink camo. In fact, this one is um, the back of my phone. So I think I'm going to really enjoy that one. This one might even land up on um, art journal pages and things at some point. I got a red bandana. I mean, for a buck, you can't go wrong. And how many flowers do you think you can make out of this? It's going to be awesome. They also had this flame one. They had it in sort of a double blue color. But as I say, I have a little bunch of blue around here that I've been playing with already. So I sort of focus more on the red and the darker colors. And then just a light pink. I'm not sure how well the um, sort of plaid stripes is going to work in a flower, but it'll be neat to play with and find out. And if it doesn't work, I'll just sort of enjoy the process, which is sort of half the activity anyway, right? So that's my second video and my haul. Thanks for sticking around to watch it again. Please feel free to leave me comments. Uh, please like the video. Um, if you have any more suggestions, anything I can do to improve or help, I would really appreciate it. I took all your advice last time and I found it very helpful. So I hope this one is, you know, not a disappointment at least after the last one. And if you're really bored and have some time, why don't you come visit me on Littles' Long Yarn and see what I'm working on on a daily basis. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.